West Bohemia in the Czech Republic, the former Sudetenland, a countryside of deserted villages and churches. A new cross at the crossroads is the sign of renewal. The Trappists, order of the Cistercians of the strict observance, have founded their new monastery here. Reclusion. The contemplative life is given its rhythm by the regular times of prayer, divine services, work, studies, and readings. Lectio Divina. The name Trappist is derived from the La Trappe Monastery in France, which led the 17th century reform of the Cistercian order. The vocation of a monk is entirely based on prayer. And for such a life, a monk needs reclusion and a simple fraternal life in which everything is aimed at the search for God. Since the third century, the monks have used a habit called the cowl. To facilitate the life of prayer, the monks observe silence. Silence creates a space for perceiving the presence of God. The idea of the new monastery in Bohemia was born in the French monastery of Sepfon. In 1989, this community welcomed a number of young men from Bohemia and Moravia who were seeking their spiritual path. It takes seven years to become a monk. Almost 20 Czech men have already taken up the Trappist habit. The abbot of Sepfon, Dom Patrick Olive, decided, with his community, to create this new monastery here in Bohemia. Amen. 
Pochválen buď Bůh a Otec našeho Pána Ježíše Krista, který nás v Kristu obdařil vším duchovním požehnáním nebeských darů. V něm nás již před stvořením světa vyvolil, abychom byli svatí a bezposkvrny před jeho tváří. In the chapter room is the daily assembly of the whole community. They speak together in Czech and in French. Amen. Dom Samuel, prior of the monastery, is from France. What a man says is important, but what a man does, which cannot be expressed by words, is equally, if not more, important. There exist two aspects which are very much interconnected. In the word of the Lord there are verbal contents to be understood, either proclaimed in the Bible or sung in the Psalms, or explained by preachers. And then there is all which goes unspoken, singing, silence, light, all that says or expresses something of the mystery of God, and it is necessary, really necessary, for both these realities to be present. No, od začátku je to trojuhelní. Ta spolupráce na projektu je vlastně velký trojuhelní. Velký trojuhelník mezi it has been a triangle from the very beginning, that cooperation on the project between Cephon, London and Pilsen. Generally speaking, the work of an architect conservationist makes the life of the buildings around us last longer. This has been essentially my task at Novi Dvor. The building as we originally found it could not serve its new purpose because it was largely in ruins. Thus it was necessary that a new, modern theme be created. The most important part has been the harmonization between the old and new building. And I think this was what the cooperation with John Paulson has been about. To understand together the quality of this landscape, what exactly this environment expected to be played out here. Dom Patrick, abbot of Cephon, architect John Paulson, and a number of church personalities from both France and the Czech Republic came for the celebration in the spring of 2002. The foundation stone of the new church was delivered by the monks from the French monastery. A thousand kilometers separate the center of France from Novi Dvor in Bohemia. Well, I think the monks were very strong about not having a pastiche. They wanted something that was of our time. Of course, there are certain rules, and there's wonderful historical precedents from Cistercian architecture. Um, but a combination of being in, in this part of the Czech Republic in Bohemia and 
inheriting existing Baroque ruin and the, the land all helped us to, to make this kind of design. Tento kraj je jeden z nejsekularizovanějších krajů, řekl bych, v celé naší republice. This part of the country is, I would say, one of the most dechristianized parts of the Czech Republic. Maybe even in the whole of Europe, after all. To help these people to believe, to be at all able to believe, or to be able to deepen their faith, make it alive, renew it, we need the grace of the Lord, don't we? Yes, this is asking a tremendous gift of the Lord. Somehow we have to ask this from him. That is exactly why these trappists are here. I love the clear concept of the old Grange residence. The original house was built with great care and with beautiful detailing. We can see it was built in the second half of the 18th century, when Baroque ceased to be monumental and was getting increasingly human in scale. Rooms are beautifully decorated by the painter Dalhoff from Hieb, he originally decorated all of them. Just about half of these frescoes survive up to our own time. We have a list of them made in the year 1900. A particular fresco, showing the monastery in Tepla, had been overpainted white. We thought it did not exist anymore, and only when the painters started to scrape off the old paint did we discover the image underneath. Thus, we discovered the angels. The Trappists make a solemn vow of stability. They promise to stay in that place for their whole life. things that, that does not have a precedent in Cistercian monastic architecture is the fact that we, there are no columns supporting the ceiling. The ceiling is, is cantilevered and that allows the glass to be uninterrupted, which in a way is a contemporary thing. Mm. The foundation of the monastery meant the creation of a new community of monks. Among the nine founding monks are Czechs, French, one Dutchman, and a Spaniard. Mm -hmm. 
monks work like any other people to earn their living. Every Trappist monastery becomes, sooner or later, financially self-supporting. In Novi Dvor, they have started production of a special mustard. And the monks are also working in the surrounding forests and in the fields and meadows. The monks accept guests who want to participate for several days in their life of prayer. Today, several monastic candidates and a Greek Catholic priest are amongst them. The monastic day is divided regularly by divine services. The monks work from four to five hours each day. Manual work is an important counterweight of the time given to prayer. All of the monks' activities, work, divine service, even the construction of the monastery come together in the mystery of God's presence. <laughs> This is the very first Trappist monastery in the Czech Republic and also in all of the former Soviet bloc countries. A procession brings relics of the blessed Hosnata, patron of the Diocese of Pilsen, of St. Scholastica, sister of St. Benedict, of the Cistercian sister Mary Gabriella, and a fragment from the Holy Sepulchre. Builders hand over the key to Don Samuel, prior of the monastery of Our Lady of Novi Dvor. Milí bratři mniši, 
Dear brother monks, in the name of all those who need your prayer and expect your prayer, I ask you please pray with joy and intensity. Maybe many of you gathered here have felt the force of their intercession by prayer, even if it is not apparent at first glance. This church will become a wellspring of blessing for all those who visit the monastery, who come here already and who will come still in much greater numbers when the pilgrim's house is finished. This church be consecrated and dedicated in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. foundation of a contemplative monastery in Bohemia for men took place 600 years ago. a very long time ago now that I received word that monks from the Cistercian Order wished to commission me to design a new monastery for them in Bohemia. And it is five years since I first travelled to Novi Dvor and walked the site. I am immensely grateful to the monks for offering me this opportunity and profoundly proud to have played a part in the realisation of their dream. Nothing comes into being without effort. We know it was the Lord who sent us here, and only He can help us to forge ahead with the help of those He will bring to us. Why do the monks want beauty? Because he who follows God considers beauty to be the work of the Lord, and so he wants to move and live within it. Since the moment they enter the monastery, it becomes their home, setting of their entire life, their whole physical world. This is the entrance that the public uses, the lay people. So I, I wanted to have some place in front of the church where they could almost decompress so they could um, take a moment before they enter the church. And so it, it, it's open to the sky, but that's all. And I thought it would be very nice to have some water which would have a calming effect. Seventh Divine Service of the Day. <laughs> <laughs> 